In this video, I'll show you how to properly price your snacks when selling candy at school to maximize sales and to make the most profit without your classmates ever complaining about your prices. Pricing your snacks correctly is the one key to success to selling candy at school, but it could also be your ultimate failure if you do not price your snacks the correct way. Let's go over my standard pricing strategy that I use on my own snacks to make a lot of profit each week. I'll reveal my step-by-step -step method to finding your perfect price for candy, also the mistakes you must avoid, and stick around to find out my super secret method of how I will increase my my prices this next school year and make my classmates pay the higher prices without them ever complaining which will only make my wallet fatter with cash let's just get right into it buy low sell high the first key to finding the right price is knowing the true cost of your snacks when you're shopping at the store for your next restock calculate the price per unit of each snack Let's say a box of spicy hot chips costs $13.64 with 30 chips. You simply divide the units to find that each bag around costs 46 cents each. For these chips, I'll sell them for $1 each, making you a good 54% profit margin per sale. Finding the snacks with the highest profit margin while keeping your sale price around $1 will make it super easy for your snacks to sell out fast and for you to make good profit. Bonus tip, I like to keep my prices even, one, two, three dollars, and not really $1.50 or $1.75. Those uneven prices makes you have to bring quarters to provide change. Round it up, people would prefer to pay $2 than to carry a quarter from change for a $1.75 snack. So essentially, you will buy some cheap snacks and you'll sell it for more expensive. But make sure you calculate the profit margin to only buy and restock the most profitable snacks per sale. Bigger snacks equals bigger profits. You have a choice. You could buy the tall, skinny Gatorade for $3 and you might think you're getting ripped off. But what if you bought the bigger bottle for $3? Now it seems like you're getting a good deal. On the Gatorade website, a pack of 24 bottles of, of 20 ounce costs $23.99, around $1 per bottle. But I could buy the big 32 ounce Powerade at Walmart individually for less than a dollar each, around 89 cents. The easiest way to charge more for your snacks is to get bigger sizes people see that they're getting more. And most of the time, bigger snacks get you more profit margin. Therefore, people won't complain when they see the higher prices alongside bigger sized snacks. This essentially increases your average order value. Make people spend more for bigger products for each transaction. Let's look at Takis. You have the one ounce, two ounce, four ounce bags. And according to the Sam's Club website, they all cost around 26 cents per ounce. I'll choose the four ounce 40 pack huge bags and sell them each for three dollars. I would rather sell 10 of these big bags than to sell 30 of the smaller one ounce bags, which will get me the same in revenue, but the 10 big bags, I can bring less and still make the same amount of revenue. People at school will only buy one bag. So by increasing the size and the price, you can now sell less amount and still make good amount of money. Here is my current snack loadout with my standard prices. Keep in mind, I plan to raise them by getting bigger snacks and using the super secret tactic I'll reveal later in this video. But here are my current snacks with my current prices. Twinkies and cupcakes, 50 cents each. Two ounce hot and spicy chips, $1 each. Big powery bottles each for $2. This next semester, I'll just flat out charge $3 for each. Chocolate, $1 each. And of course, Starburst and Skittles, $1 each. These are my old prices. I now plan to increase them by following my new strategy. But you cannot make these mistakes when pricing your own snacks. Man, thank you, Papa Chino, you know. For the free candy, you know. Congrats to this lucky candy seller. If you want some free candy, to use to make 100% profit when selling this upcoming school year, make sure to like this video right now. Like it, then comment below that you want the free candy and I'll choose you, but only subscribers can win. So make sure you subscribe. Here are the huge mistakes you must avoid. 
charging too little. The prices on snacks in store are increasing. And if you are not charging more, you are starting to charge too little. Increase your prices or stop selling that snack entirely. Selling candy at school is hard enough already by avoiding getting caught, dealing with competition, and carrying around pounds of food every single day. So make sure you are getting paid. You are worth it. The other mistake is charging too much. Make sure you are aware of your school's market. And what I mean by this is competition. Whether it's the school snack bar, a vending machine, another candy seller, make sure you adapt your prices to be competitive. If you try to sell what they sell, it may not be profitable when you compete on price. So try switching into bigger size snacks and market yourself as having bigger snacks and bigger deals than the crappy school vending machines or the, your ordinary seller. It is hard to compete with other sellers based on price. That could get very bad for the both of you. So that's why I employ other tactics to destroy my competition. Make sure you subscribe because an updated guide is coming out soon and your competition will be begging you for mercy. So let's get into my favorite part, how to raise my prices and maximize profit with my super secret methods I just developed. Number one, use bundles to disguise higher prices. You can now use bundles to disguise your higher prices on your snacks to be able to increase the average order value and the amount of profit you make per sale. Like I said before, I like to stick with even prices. So if you create bundles, you could charge more without them letting know. So for example, my new price for Skittles will now be you could get two for $3. If people don't wanna buy the bundle and just wanna buy one, automatically that makes the new price $1.50. See what I did there? If they only wanna buy one, they have to pay $1.50 instead of my old price of one. This method is super powerful, so make sure to use it wisely. And it kind of looks like they're getting a discount when they don't wanna opt in for the bundle. So that makes them less likely to complain. If I create another bundle, which includes a drink, a bag of chips, and a Twinkie, you can now see the new updated prices if I charge $5 for this bundle. Now you can see how using bundles can make you increase your prices without your customers knowing, making you more money in the long term. And if they don't want to use the bundle, discount them to a lower price, which is already higher than your old one. The only way I'll be able to get away with charging higher prices is by eliminating all my competition. And I could do this by offering generous discounts to build hype. Once I combine all my other tactics I used in this video, I could build a stack of edge that goes against my competition. I will offer bigger size snacks, I will offer more variety, but most importantly, my new prices offer me space to run a massive discount. If my competitor is trying to outsell me, I will temporarily drop all my prices for a while and then employ my other tactics to destroy them. I'll be able to drop prices because I already have a huge margin. I could afford to drop them for a little to crush my competition. Running these discounts and using my social media to promote will build huge levels of hype for me and my business will get me more customers hooked to me. So when the promotion ends, I could return to my juicy profit margins. Make sure to price your snacks evenly Try to restock with bigger overall snacks if possible and use bundles to your advantage. And make sure you are aware of any competition at your school. Lastly, make sure you believe in your new prices. Don't let a few classmates complaining about high prices get you discouraged. Make sure you get paid what you're worth. Watch this video next and never forget I got what you need. I'll see you at the top.